Today, we'll walk through the high-level functions of the self-service feature to create an AWS Marketplace listing. Before jumping into the feature, let's first review the basics of a listing. A listing is comprised of one, a product including its basic information and configurations. Two, an offer including price, license, and transaction details. We will first create the listing in the staging phase where information is incomplete. After filling in the required information, you will submit it to the limited state to preview and test your product. When you're ready, you can then request that listing to be moved to public. To start our product, you'll navigate to the product page to find the Create Server Product button. In this case, we're creating an Amazon machine image on the server product page. Then, you'll be prompted to generate a product ID. This step creates an empty product in the catalog to start your listing creation. After generating an empty product and continuing, you'll be brought to a step-by-step -step experience that guides you through the listing creation process. The left-hand side outlines the steps to be completed to create that listing. After the required field in each step is filled out, there will be a submit button on the last step. Submitting will request our catalog system to validate the inputs and move the product to limited state. If you're unable to complete all steps in one sitting, you can use the save and exit function to submit those steps to the catalog and come back later. Only steps that have required fields filled in with valid inputs can be saved. Partially completed steps cannot be saved. The saved steps can be edited through the update experience that we will cover at the end of this video. After you choose save and exit, the system will need time to review and save those changes to your listing. You can see the status of the save request on the request log. When the request is successful, this is when you'll be able to resume and continue your product creation. Let's say you went through saving, resuming, and successfully published the listing to limited state. This is when you can preview and test your product. You can also find the listing details in each individual tab on the overview page. When you're ready for your listing to go public, you will then use update visibility to request for the listing to go public. This is when the AWS Marketplace team will review your product and approve it to go public. Finally, let's talk about updates. Whether it be saved steps in staging or published details in limited or public states, you can always self-service those updates if the requested changes are valid. Most updated change requests will be applied within an hour, while some may take longer due to longer validation processes. Only successful requests will result in updating the listing. For failed requests, you can click into the request to learn about the error that was made. Then, you can use the copy to new request function to correct the error before resubmitting the request. With that, you have learned the basic functions of the self-service listing feature. When you're in the feature, you will see more instructions guiding you to create the listing. If you have more questions, please check out our AWS Marketplace Seller Guide for more information. Thanks.